Different explanations were given for the origins of regeneration. Some accounts involved the intervention or discoveries of Razalon. Prose. The Crystal Bucephalus, Lungbarrow, Audio, Zagreus. Indeed, by the time of Razalon's ill-fated intervention on Colston, Artran, his contemporary, knew that Razalon had experimented with a limited sort of regeneration. Audio. Day of the Master. However, some accounts saw an origin for regeneration from outside of Gallifrey. According to the Spymaster, the founders of Gallifrey wanted a noble creation myth, and so did not tell the story as it really happened, intentionally leaving out the true details. TV. The Timeless Children. One account held that Cardinal Razalon had been investigating a method of regenerating decayed and diseased tissue via a series of self-replicating, biogenic molecules. The cells of a Gallifreyan body would be repaired, restored and reorganized, resulting in a wholly new physical form. The brain cells would also be rearranged, though to a lesser extent. The new incarnation would retain the memories of the former incarnation, though the personality of the Time Lord could change, the degree of this change depending upon the Time Lord in question. Razalan intended this mechanism only for the Gallifreyan elite. He also imposed a standard limit of 12 regenerations to avoid decaying biogenic molecules, audio, Zagreus, because the mind could not handle the multiplicity of psyches, prose, head games, and because he considered total immortality a curse. TV. The Five Doctors, the Black Scrolls of Razalon indicated instead that regeneration was caused by a virus created by three mix, prose, the Scrolls of Razalon, which ravaged ancient Gallifrey society when Razalon seized power. Prose. The Scrolls of Razalon, the Pit. Another account of Razalon's creation of regeneration as biological engineering stated that Time Lords had triple helix DNA. The third strand was added by Razalon to enable regeneration. Prose. The Crystal Bucephalus. A fourth account suggested that the looms gave Gallifreyans the ability to regenerate and that the earlier wombborn generations could not. Prose. Lungbarrow whereas one Gallifreyan wrote that regeneration was a natural process for all Gallifreyans, and was not exclusive to the Time Lords. Prose. A brief history of Time Lords. One account held that Gallifreyans could regenerate into new bodies before they had even established themselves as the Lords of Time, with Omega regenerating into a muscular form sometime before the creation of the Hand of Omega. Prose. Remembrance of the Daleks. The Doctor once explained to Vastra, and later reiterated, that exposure over billions of years to the untempered schism contributed to the Time Lord's ability to regenerate. By the Eleventh Doctor's account, this was also what allowed for River Song's regenerative abilities, TV, a good man goes to war, as a proto-Time Lord. Audio. The Furies. This was similar, but distinct, to historian Postar the Perfidious's Scrolls of Gallifrey, according to which Razalon was the first Time Lord to gain regeneration as an unintended side effect of his work with the Eye of Harmony. The elemental forces to which he had been exposed as he worked on stabilizing the eye caused the death of his original body, but granted him a set of twelve regenerations. Upon reshaping Time Lord society to his designs, Razalon then gave a select number of Gallifreyan aristocrats the privilege of gazing upon the eye unveiled, thus granting them twelve regenerations each as well. Morbius would later partially base his campaign for the presidency on the promise of extending the same generosity to all Gallifreyans. Prose. The Legacy of Gallifrey. One account, described by the spymaster to the 13th Doctor, held that regeneration on Gallifrey began with the timeless child, who the first Tecturn, a Shabogan from Gallifrey, had discovered on another planet, adopted, and then brought home. The child proved capable of regenerating their body some indefinite number of times. Tecturn began experimenting upon her child, and eventually uncovered the mystery of regeneration. After putting this to the test on her own biology, and themselves regenerating, Tecturn gave the gift of regeneration to all other Gallifreyans within the Citadel, and founded Time Lord Society on this ability. He also limited the number of regenerations each Time Lord got to twelve. The Timeless Child, after having their memories erased, grew up again to become the Doctor. All records in the Matrix making this explicit were later redacted. TV. The Timeless Children. The Doctor later claimed the limited number of regenerations was a limit in the power of regeneration itself that the Shabogans discovered. Prose. The secrets of the timeless child. Instead of creating. TV. The timeless children. Upon observing the similarities between Time Lord regeneration and the rapid healing of the Malak, 
Richard Francis Burton theorized that early Time Lords obtained regenerative abilities by knowingly infecting themselves with the Ys's Gareth taint. Prose. The Book of the War. Indeed, these vampires were searching for a child that was taken. Prose. Out of the box.